Hey everyone, welcome to 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 142 of Lost Platinum and 100% Neo 2 Remastered. Alright, before we move on, let's just put another point in our ninja ninja skill tree. I'm going to go with Poison Resistance, since we've got the Paralysis Resistance up by a total of 8, which is the maximum for the skill tree. We'll put this one in, in there. Alright, here's another Kadama, making good progress on both those and the stage itself. It's amazing how quickly, or how much quickly, more quickly you can do the stage uh, once you've done it before. That's, that's insane. I wonder, does the Magatsu Warrior do damage? I've noticed it, it feels like it does a lot more damage or like a lot more numbers come up. <laughs> Another Kodama, Kodama Tsuke. Let's see, oh no, I was going to say, let's see if it has enemy sensor, but I'm pretty sure enemy sensor and Kodama sensor are on the same thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, what, what I was going to say is, I feel like the the R2, the Magatsu Warrior, hang on a sec, uh, you can have this one I guess, since I didn't get any others. It does a lot more, more damage numbers come up when you're closer to the enemy, and I'm just realizing that perhaps what that is, is the Magatsu Warrior creates these like you know, these yellow beams of energy from the swords as he s swings them. But perhaps the swords have hitboxes as well, and that's what causes the extra damage. That was amazing. I cannot believe that that did precisely the amount of damage. Yasu Toki the Child Snatcher? Is that what it is? Yasu Toki? I, I always read it. I always click it immediately, so I only have like a split second to read it. So if I'm ever slightly off, you know why. Wee! Ah, it's this guy. Uh, you know what? What happens if I hit you in the horn? Nothing, because I can't aim. Alright, well... I di oh, I didn't see you. <laughs> no. Good. Dodge. Damn it. Glow. Glow your horn. Glow, glow, glow your horn. <laughs> Excellent. Avoid. Get some avoidion. Or as uh, we used to say, evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> that was uh, WoW in like 2009 or 10, something like that. <sighs> it's an Aeon ago, an absolute just era ago. No, it doesn't just feel like yesterday. <laughs> It feels like a very long time. I think someone around 2010, oh, I remember reading, like, it was probably just on the internet or whatever. So I was like, I don't care how many years passed, 1990 will always be just 10 years ago. And it's like, mm, nah. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, there's a Kadama here, as you can see on sensor. I believe I need to elevate myself to a higher position, and this seems like the way to do it. Oh my god, these earbuds, so annoying. Okay, good. Another one, and also we've cleared out this little part here. Is there anything over there? Yes, there's a chest. Uh, you know what, let's see if I can get some Amrita so I can get the increased luck, and then I'll, I'll open the chest. Yep. Doesn't seem to be helping too much though. I think I actually need like a proper luck build. Seem to remember doing that part way through the playthrough. There we go, I was trying to get. Uh, and it actually did work, so. I'll probably make one once we finish the DLC. Divine Fragment's not too bad. It's amazing how there's so many different items in the pool for, for drops now, and I just keep getting. Hand cannons, Kadama Natsuke, Soul Core Box, Hazy Moon Flute. <laughs> Always the same things. Glue. I got glue. Um, okay, so now we gotta go this way and see what this looks like. Ah! Ah, the weakest enemy in the game. I'm very scared. I'm starting to notice that maybe. What was the other one? Hang on. Have a quick peek. What does this one do? 
Hexamates when you recover full key from a key pulse, further accentuation of the unbroken skill. I'm feeling like maybe that one might be better because I don't find myself maxing out my... Maxing out like that part of... That part of um, of how the fist weapons w work as much. Like, uh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, I don't even have a, a one. <laughs> okay, hang on, let me just... Well, there's one right here. I was like, I just want to exit the, the Dark Realm for a second just to get my bearings, but I think I'm good. Okay, now I remember there's two different directions to go here, and I'm not 100% sure which one to take. <laughs> so I can go up here, or I can go back down. I feel like... Hmm, something's telling me... I, I remember I went the, the way that's behind me, but I actually think we go here, and it allows us to free a Mugina, and then I think we can take that Mugina... Ooh. To the rest of the stage, so I'm gonna try and do that. I just hope it's a dead end. Okay, we've got sort of a dead end. Let's get rid of you. I do not like you. Oh, I do if you use that. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> oh, that was funny. 22,818. That was very. Very good. Okay, so we've cleared that. Let's open this so we can grab our spoils. Prison key. Oh, my Tarza's long spear. Oh, that is actually really good. If I'm thinking about it correctly, which I think I am. I have an idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea. Okay, first, how are we doing on this? We're almost there, so we'll keep it on. Where's my Tarza's long spear? Is it in order? There it is. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on once I finish the switch glaive. That will allow me to keep the the sprinting ability. Okay, yeah, this is just... Ah, yes, perfect. I went the right way. This is a shortcut. And you know what? In order to make things nice and safe, let's use the shrine and then we'll head back up and continue the stage. All right, this is all making sense. It's all coming together. Okay, we're still early. Um, another point dexterity? Let me have a look. We need one more point. I should put it in dexterity so this one can go up. All right, we'll put it in dexterity. Yoink. I can also probably use a lot more, <laughs> like, I have so many more things here. That's maxed out, that's maxed out. This is almost maxed out. Maybe I should use Caltrop Balls instead. If I get my next point, I'll probably do that. Okay, so... So what I'm gonna do is, once the Switch Glaive maxes out, I'll put the Mataza's Long Spear on, so that I can still have that 90% uh, chance or 90% increased run speed. No, no, I want the Magina with me. Come on, teleport to me. So I can get that bonus, and I can get it without having to have Toshie's Abacus, which is actually taking up a valuable green slot in my accessories. Okay. That was not what I wanted to do, but it works out. Goodbye. What? How did you not die from that? Where's my Regina? No, he's dead already. Ah, oh, man. Oh, he dropped some stuff. Ow, ow. <laughs> if that skeleton warrior was going to do a third stab, I was going to be very upset. <laughs> like a third delayed stab. It's like, you didn't do that in the first game. Okay, you can actually... Mm. A little tricky to position yourself correctly. To activate that, but it is possible. One, two, three, four, dodge back and then do this. <laughs> I was in high stance, one, two, three. Whee! <laughs> okay, I was still in low stance there. Should have gone to high stance. 
All right, how are we doing? Excellent. Let's go this way. Nope, we went that way, that's a dead end. Let's go this way. Hooray, it's not a dead end. <laughs> okay, now this looks very similar to where we just were. I'm gonna grab this and just check that this is a dead end, yes. What? What hit me? Fuki, oh, yeah, I, I know which one Fuki is, but how did he hit me? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, I mean, I can't really, I'll look at that when I, uh, when I watch this back, but I have no idea what he used to hit me. I, I was pretty sure he was completely out of line of sight. Oh well. Um, the message was saying it seemed like a yokai tended to the wounds of a human, and the human was prof uh, profusely thankful. Is that, is that correct English? I think so. So, yeah. Uh, I'll avoid you guys. I don't need to. And, and the hellish hag. I'd rather just get back to where I was. So the Fuki is that guy. And you know what? It's a little bit dangerous, but I'm going to go for him first. He's basically a Yoki, but he's much faster. That's the attack he used against me, for sure. Oh, interesting. He, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> he doesn't, um, even if you break his horn... That was amazing! No. I, yeah, he's much faster. He's just like a much faster Yoki, and he might kill me here. He can do like everything the other ones can do. He's even got that gun. Alright, this is bad, because if he kills me... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> wow, he's, he's very fast and quite difficult to kill. Alright, we did get the thing, so let's go ahead and put the... I gotta find it again. Matazas, right? What are oh, the sort by level, okay. Um, Alright, hang on, sort by type. There we go. So, activate this one, my triple threat damage goes up, but that's okay, that's not referring to me, that's, <laughs> that's referring to the, um, the ability. Now, which one am I going to put on? Because this is interesting, this one comes with 24 luck, autograve recovery, that's a pretty good one. Oh yeah, I never went over the soul call box, so the way it works, Ominous Pact, allows you to use yokai abilities even when you do not have sufficient anima. However, you will receive the Ominous Pact status element for a duration proportionate to the amount of anima you were granted in advance. While this element is in effect, you cannot use yokai abilities or earn anima. That doesn't make any sense. The duration of this element is reduced as you perform actions that would not... Oh, okay. That would normally earn you anima. Okay. Uh, I should read the whole thing before assuming. Um, okay, we're sorting by level. What do we want? This is pretty good for more soul core drop rate, anima charge... Damage taken versus yoke, yoki, yokai. Uh, you know what, that's a pretty good one. Let's just go with that. It's not fantastic. What, wait, what did my... Oh no, but my other one had the en enemy sensor. Alright, does anything have enemy sensor? Yes. That's pretty good, we'll go with that. <laughs> anything else have enemy sensor? Because I'll take it. Just want to double check. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of time. No, okay, we'll go with this. It's the, literally the only other one that has enemy sensor. Um, okay, let me just have a look at the time. All right, jeez. <laughs> We're still making good progress. It's just... <clears throat> there we go. All right, so we killed the Fuki. We changed our gear very slightly. I've now got sort of something else to go for is excellent because I've been wanting to get rid of that Toshio's Abacus for a long time. We're still on track, we haven't missed anything. Our items are 
474 out of 600 is very good for how far we are into the mission. Uh, that's the dead end where the herbal remedy and a little bit of explanation was, or dialogue was. All right, we should reach another shrine here. Yes, we did. There's a door we can't open here yet. I'm going to use this shrine. And now this is where things get a little tricky because I can't remember. I think going up leads me to the end. So I'm going to take this path. It makes sense to me. Okay, this is a device that we can't use at the moment. It is for an elevator a little bit later. Call it the later elevator. The ele ele later. <laughs> there we go. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Done. Another Magina. All right. Hopefully this Magina will stay with me. I like you too. Hey, a friend indeed. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Toy Story, I think. I actually saw. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it like last year at some point. I saw to Toy Story for the first time. That's pretty good. I'm surprised that movie has like a 10 out of 10 on IMDb. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was good. I mean, Disney do make, especially like OG. Oh no, wait, that's Pixar, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> they make good stuff. Well, it's Pixar, but isn't it Disney Pixar? So it's basically them. Dragon Whistle, Marksman. Wait, hang on. What's up here? I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, let's go this way first. Kick, 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 kick. Uh, okay, I got a stomp out of it, so let's do one of these. Yeah. I wish I could use that ability more. The um, This one, roundhouse kick or whatever. It's such a fun ability to use. Kick. Let's use this one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Scampus. Okay, almost out of time, but let's try and make sure that we're clearing everything. Um, we'll go here. Let me get rid of this guy first. Excellent job, Mojina. Wait, wait. Okay, there's another one over there. Okay, Hellish Hag, get rid of you. I think I'm realizing that you can only get rid of the hellish hags, like sort of front teeth got glowing thing when when they're glowing as well. Ha ha ha, you can run but you cannot hide, I hear you whining and whimpering. Something like that. Wait, 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 quick, because the dweller's coming. Ah crap. <laughs> oh, oh. That's the wrong one. I wanted to use that, but that's okay. Okay, so we're doing well, but I, I want to make sure that I collect everything. So we'll grab this. What did I skip? I skipped this, so we can do that one. The Great Hero of Kiai. Or Ki. I feel like in Japanese, if you repeat a letter, you have to read both. So like, K-I-I -I would be Kiai. Whereas in English, it's more so the... Not the case. Like, uh, I don't know, stoop. S T O O P. We don't read it stoop. We read stoop. Uh, but technically, the I I is at the end of that center, uh, end of that word. So, what would be like igloo? Yeah, igloo we would say igloo, not igloo. <laughs> Can I think of a word with I I? Okay, cool. So, we went around. That makes sense. Now we're back here. Let's climb back up. Oh, that's just to get to the Magina in a different way. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Now we can go in here. There was a dweller there and we're gonna figure out a way to get in there in a moment. Let's go up here and grab this. Gonna fight this enemy first, get some Amrita. Almost out of time. Grab this one. Making great progress. I didn't think, uh, I really thought this was going to be much harder. I should probably use Wealthbringer. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Okay. Um, no, 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 no. This, I, I feel like that's a 
sort of more towards the end. So let's go back here. There's nothing over there. Yes, this is good. Drop down here, collect this. Kick this. This will open up something. Okay, a hidden path. And we're back here again. Excellent, excellent. That actually might be a good place to stop. Uh, I will... I don't know why I'm going this way, but I'll go this way. And we will go back to where I said to stop. So that way I know exactly where we're up to. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're right here. Let me just check what this one is. Okay, you can't drop down or anything, it's just a dead end. All right, so far so good. I haven't found the Nurikabe yet, have I? Oh no, I did, I did. Yeah, it was early. Almost every main mission has one. Ah, okay. Um, I will stop right here, because this... We are sort of like at the end of the stage, but and I think we have more to explore, but I think it's going to be okay. I think uh, we can take this down and figure it out. All right, let's leave things here and continue next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 142 of Les Patterman 100% Neo 2 Remastered. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.